royal tensions are mounting according to expert Neil Sean, who claimed that Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice are seemingly struggling to remain cordial with senior figures of the royal family. Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice are reportedly are odds with Prince William, Charles, and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. Royal expert Neil Sean has claimed the latest royal rift stems from a disagreement over future royal roles. This follows previous reports that Charles plans to all but shut out Beatrice and Eugenie when he becomes king. The York daughters also apparently want their disgraced father Prince Andrew to return to public life in some form. Mr. Sean said, There is a big story breaking in the royal family that has remained under the radar largely, and it's to do with Prince William, the Duchess of Cambridge, and William's father Prince Charles. According to very good sources, Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice are seemingly struggling to remain cordial with Prince William. Catherine, and Charles. It stems from the deal organized by William, the Queen, and Prince Charles to remove their father Prince Andrew from royal duties following his disgrace in recent years. The royal expert continued, the thong between the two families has been difficult. Prince William and Charles are doing this for the benefit of the monarchy. They are reading the public mood, which is saying that Andrew should permanently retire from public life. But Andrew wants to make a return which he thinks could be achieved by his daughters carrying out charitable work. However, it is thought that Prince Charles' plans for a slimmed-down monarchy do not include even minor roles for the princesses. Mr. Sean added, according to that good source, it appears that William, Catherine, and Charles are on the naughty step with the princesses. Moving forward, that could be very tricky indeed because they have retained very close relations with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. In May this year, it was reported that Prince Charles has reportedly shut down claims that Princess Beatrice and Eugenie could be rewarded with royal roles in the future. At the time, Daily Mail's editor-at-large, Richard Kay said that the two York royals want a royal role, but it is unlikely to happen with Charles in charge. Unlike Beatrice and Eugenie, Prince William and Prince Harry could not maintain their close relationship until adulthood. Initially, they had a solid bond and were each other's support system, but everything changed following Harry's marriage to Meghan Markle. According to royal biographer Robert Lacey, their rift began years ago when Harry infamously dressed as a Nazi for a party. The incident created a conflict between the two as Harry was criticized. William is the king of the castle, and he's the dirty rascal, Lacey said. Meanwhile, Beatrice and Eugenie shared an incredibly close bond growing up, which lasted until adulthood. Despite studying in different boarding schools and universities, the sisters had several common interests that brought them together. Eugenie said. We're each other's rocks. We're the only other person in each other's lives who can know exactly what the other one is going through. Of course, the siblings also had their fair share of arguments, including a fight over a pair of Converse sneakers. We have the same size feet, and both of us had identical pairs, Beatrice shared. One pair got trashed, and the other sister may have swapped them. But at the end of the day, Eugenie and Beatrice made it a point to make amends. Eugenie also has a close relationship with her cousin, Harry, that dates back to their childhood. Since both of their moms, Princess Diana and Sarah Ferguson, were good friends, the kids naturally spent time together. Come their older years, the cousins would spend nights out in London's club scene and became each other's confidants. Royal expert Katie Nichol explained that she and her husband, Jack, are among the few in their family who still have close contact with Harry and Markle following their move to the US. Prince Charles still excluded the blood princesses from funding despite their status. When Charles ascends to the throne, he'd like the royal family to be streamlined, he wants a smaller, more cost-effective monarchy. Royal commentator Robert Jobson said. However, his brother, Andrew, wants to secure his children's future and make them fully paid members of the firm because of their statuses. But if Charles has his way, the girls will be thrown off the royal payroll and have to fend for themselves, Jobson added. Payroll 